Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about custom fields. Specifically, custom fields that can be used in your automations in your practice. Recently, I sat down with Erica Bursler from Cosmolex, and she showed me a little bit about what they can do in their platform. Have a listen and see what you think. Uh, hi, I'm Erica Bursler. I'm the Vice President of Product Communications here at Cosmolex. And I want to start with just kind of the typical workflow of a law firm, first of which is intake. Um, intake can happen at the very beginning, uh, you're working with just a lead, or it can happen throughout the case if you have specific information that you need to collect. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite um, features is actually just having custom fields the ability to customize the type of information you collect that may be more relevant to maybe a specific area of law or the type of work that I'm doing or the client that I'm working with. And in Cosmlex, um, we have under our setup area, this custom field section. Mm -hmm. And these are all the fields that I have uh, created and they could be all different types, whether it's a text box, a pick list, a, uh, a date, a uh, calendar date. Mm -hmm. And these fields, can be really powerful with how you work internally. Of course, they help with automation, with document assembly, with filtering information in the system, right. but also with that intake. So we have um, within the system, this form template. So this is your intake forms that you can basically create. And I have a template here that I've already created that you can see this is my general intake form. Mm -hmm. I can assign it to an area of law. This is more of a general one. So I typically would not. Uh, and I can include fields like your name and your email, your nickname, how did you hear about us? Um, what's this case description, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, and even provide help text. So if there's a, a guiding um, statement you can make as to what information has to go into that field, you can do that to, to aid your clients once they're filling that out. Okay. And, and I assume you can put custom fields into this. That, that Absolutely. You can put all yep. the custom fields that are created, un unlike some um, products that, that are out there. Yeah. Custom fields. Also, any of the system fields that are included, mm -hmm. contact matter type fields, um, even a field that you want to create on the fly that maybe doesn't have to go anywhere, but you just want to capture it on the form. Okay. You can do that too. But definitely the power is really in that custom field information. Yeah. Because if you need like a license number or, um, you know, something that's fairly specific for only those types of cases. Mm -hmm it's easy to just plop that in and they can go ahead and fill that out. Gotcha. And when they come in, um, you have to be able to organize that information. So we have more on the firm side, they can look at their forms, what's been sent out to a client, um, what's been submitted, what is in progress means they maybe started it, but they haven't finished. Mm -hmm. And I have one that's actually been submitted, meaning they completed the form, they submitted it back to us, and then we can process it. So I can then say, okay, what matter, if there is one already, maybe there's not, maybe it's still a lead, but what matter do I want this associated with or what contact? Mm -hmm. And then I can actually go ahead and populate all of those fields with the information that they provided. Okay. So, so this is a form in a slightly different way than I would kind of think of some intake forms. Um, a lot of intake forms I think of as uh, embedded code that you put onto your website, and it's really a contact us form. This looks to be something where we've kind of gotten past a little bit of a contact us and we're sending them an email with mm -hmm. a with a link to a form that is associated with them specifically. But this form is a template mm -hmm. that we have created. And so when they fill this out, it's already going directly into their stuff, but it's also yeah. a little bit more specific to what you're actually trying to get from them as opposed to a really, really broad contact us sort of um, initial intake form. Yeah, it could be a, a very brief follow up to like maybe a website form, mm -hmm. or maybe they just reached out to the office and we need to get a little bit more information. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you brought up that point because this, you're right, is it may be for very specific use cases. You know, it might be for um, somebody that we already have some sort of interaction with that we want to gather more information or a file that we've already been working on long term that we realize, oh, phase two, we need these additional things from you. Right. Okay, so we completed, let's say the intake side of things. I'm actually just gonna hop on into Cosmolex in my matter list. And I wanted to bring you into one of these files. We'll go into this one right here and kind of talk about some of the, again, those collaboration points as you're working on a file. So obviously this is a cloud application. So 
you're all accessing similar based on permissions, you might have different access, but similar information, no matter where you're logging in from. Mm -hmm. But a couple things to highlight is I did mention the custom fields before you can organize them by pages. So if I had certain fields that are related to certain types of information, mm -hmm. um, I could do that and also link it to an area of law. So if this file happened to be family law, it would just populate those pages automatically for me, which is helpful. So that's a little bit on custom fields from Cosmolex. Hopefully this was helpful. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you next time around the Lawyers ecosystem.